NASA has made the critical decision to keep the Starliner crew in space until 2025 and to switch from Boeing's Starliner to SpaceX's Dragon capsule for returning astronauts Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore. This isn't just a minor operational adjustment, it's a decisive move driven by significant safety concerns. After discovering serious technical issues with Starliner's thrusters and helium leaks, NASA determined that the risks were too high to justify a crewed return. This shift to SpaceX's reliable Dragon capsule underscores the agency's unwavering commitment to astronaut safety, even if it means delaying the mission. But what led to this dramatic shift, and what does it mean for the future of space exploration? Let's explore the details of this high-stakes decision and its far-reaching implications. NASA's decision to forgo using Boeing's Starliner for the astronauts' return trip wasn't made lightly. The problems began shortly after Starliner's launch and docking with the International Space Station ISS in June 2024. Critical issues with the spacecraft's thrusters and helium leaks emerged, raising serious concerns about its reliability for a crewed return mission. Engineers from NASA and Boeing worked tirelessly to diagnose and resolve these issues, conducting numerous ground tests and data reviews. Despite these efforts, the underlying problems with the thrusters remained unresolved. The uncertainty around the physics of the thrusters created a level of risk that NASA was not willing to accept. The thruster malfunction and helium leaks were not minor glitches, they were red flags that posed significant risks to astronaut safety. These issues hark back to Starliner's troubled history. In 2019, its first uncrewed test flight failed to reach the ISS due to a software error. Although a subsequent uncrewed flight in 2022 was successful, the spacecraft has yet to prove its reliability in crewed missions. The repeated setbacks have not only delayed Starliner's operational timeline, but have also cost Boeing over $1.5 billion in overruns, putting the program under intense scrutiny. NASA's decision to return Starliner uncrewed underscores the agency's commitment to safety above all else. The spacecraft will return autonomously to Earth in September a move that will provide crucial data for addressing its ongoing issues. This decision, while disappointing for Boeing, is a necessary step to ensure that Starliner can eventually become a reliable part of NASA's crew transport options. The lessons learned from this experience will shape the future design improvements needed for Starliner to safely carry astronauts in the future. Safety has always been NASA's top priority, especially after the tragedies of Challenger and Columbia, which claimed the lives of 14 astronauts. These disasters highlighted the dangers of complacency in space exploration, and the agency has since adopted a culture where safety is the North Star. The decision to keep astronauts Williams and Wilmore aboard the ISS and opt for an uncrewed return of Starliner is a direct reflection of this commitment. The safety concerns surrounding Starliner were too significant to ignore. Despite Boeing's assurances that the spacecraft could return the crew safely, NASA's engineers remained unconvinced. The unresolved thruster issues and helium leaks presented too much uncertainty. With the lives of astronauts at stake, NASA could not afford to take any chances. This decision also reflects NASA's broader responsibility, not just to the astronauts but also to the public and the legacy of space exploration. Moreover, it highlights NASA's approach to maintaining high safety standards, even if it means postponing missions or altering plans that had once seemed set in stone. This meticulous attention to detail has kept the agency at the forefront of space exploration for decades. Choosing SpaceX's Dragon capsule for the return mission was not just about avoiding risk, it was about ensuring the highest level of certainty in the safety of the crew. SpaceX has a proven track record, having successfully flown numerous crewed missions to and from the ISS since 2020. The Dragon capsule has become a reliable workhorse for NASA, earning the agency's trust through consistent performance. By relying on SpaceX, NASA ensures that the astronauts can return safely, even if it means extending their mission by several months. This decision also has significant implications for Boeing. The company has been struggling with its space program, and the setback with Starliner adds to a growing list of challenges, including the issues with the 737 MAX aircraft. However, NASA remains committed to Boeing as a partner. The agency understands the importance of having multiple human-rated spacecraft to maintain its crew transport options. 
Still, this incident will undoubtedly lead to a reassessment of Boeing's approach and push the company to address the root causes of Starliner's failures. This incident may serve as a crucial turning point for Boeing, driving innovation and restructuring within their space division. With the decision to use SpaceX's Dragon capsule, SpaceX solidifies its role as a key player in NASA's human spaceflight program. The Crew-9 mission, now slated for late September, will be slightly adjusted to accommodate the return of Williams and Wilmore. This mission will leave two seats open for the astronauts, who will spend another few months aboard the ISS, returning to Earth in February 2025. SpaceX will also send Dragon-specific spacesuits and other supplies to the ISS to prepare for the return journey. SpaceX's reliability and adaptability have made it NASA's go-to choice for crewed missions. Since its first crewed test flight in 2020, the Dragon capsule has consistently demonstrated its capability, safely transporting a dozen crews to and from the ISS. This success is a testament to the rigorous testing and continuous innovation that SpaceX brings to the table. The company's ability to step in and provide a solution when Boeing Starliner faltered showcases the strength of NASA's commercial crew program, which was designed to foster competition and innovation. This adaptability has been a key factor in SpaceX's rapid rise within the aerospace industry, positioning it as a critical partner for NASA's long-term goals. The decision to rely on SpaceX also highlights the importance of having multiple crew transport options, while SpaceX has proven itself, NASA is still committed to bringing Boeing Starliner up to standard. Competition between these companies is essential for driving technological advancements and keeping costs in check. However, this incident raises questions about Boeing's ability to keep pace with SpaceX and the future of the Starliner program. SpaceX's continued success not only benefits NASA, but also sets a high standard for the entire industry, encouraging all players to elevate their performance and innovation. Looking ahead, NASA and Boeing will need to regroup and address the challenges that have plagued Starliner. The upcoming uncrewed return of the spacecraft will provide valuable data that could help resolve the issues with the thrusters and helium leaks. However, the path forward will require significant effort from both NASA and Boeing to ensure that Starliner can eventually fulfill its role in the commercial crew program. The lessons learned from this situation will likely influence future missions, shaping how both companies approach risk management and technical reliability in the years to come. NASA's decision to switch from Boeing Starliner to SpaceX's Dragon capsule for the astronauts' return marks a significant turning point in the agency's commercial crew program. This choice underscores the critical importance of safety in space exploration and highlights SpaceX's growing role as a reliable partner for NASA. While the setbacks with Starliner are disappointing, they also provide an opportunity for Boeing to learn, adapt, and improve. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.